Cooking is not a full contact sport. If you love what you're doing, ultimately you will find a way to make great food. If you don't love what you're doing, it'll never be good no matter how closely you follow the recipe. Flour, water, salt, and yeast combined to make bread and put it in an oven does not make you a warrior. We're here at the Forno Bravo Expo in uh, just outside of Salinas near Monterey at the Talbot Vineyards. And I'm here with John Arena, one of the great pizza makers in the country, Metro Pizza in Las Vegas. Been spending a couple days together, making pizzas together, talking. And now I'm gonna learn something from him because John's gonna make for us a pizza that he created. I'm gonna let him tell us about it. And really, I wanna just turn it over to you. I'm really a fan of working on wood peel. I think it's a lot easier to use. It's a lot easier to get the pizzas on and off the, on and off the peel. And they're actually a lot, a lot less flexible. So especially for beginning pizza makers, it's hard sometimes to maneuver that pizza because the, the peel is shaken yeah. and the hand, there's, a, there's a joint between the handle and the, and the peel itself. So with a wooden peel, you have a lot more stability. In, the, in my pizzeria, we use wooden peels only. So much of what we do is tactile and making a connection. And I just feel better about using, putting my pizza on a, a material that's natural. And we're gonna do pizzas, some pizzas today in the ancient Roman tradition. I guarantee you they weren't using those pizza peels. Those metal metal pizza peel. peels. Yeah, they, they didn't have that. No, they, they had whatever they, whatever they could use. If we really want to understand pizza, we can go back way further than that. And Peter can tell you that the, the tradition of bread baking goes back 6,000 years. At least, yeah. And there was a time when pizza makers and bread bakers were one and the same. And now you're starting to see that again. So what are you going to, you're going to make a Pompeii so, pizza thing. Right, so what we're going to do uh, using your dough, we're going to score it, we're going to put it in the oven, and when it comes out, we're going to use only the ingredients that would have been available in Campania at that time. Olive oil, garlic, parsley, oregano, which was brought there by the Greeks. We have to remember that that area was settled by the Greeks. The Greeks were there before the Romans. Um, and we put a little bit of anchovy in there. And the reason that we do that is that the ancient Romans used a, used a seasoning called garum, which was fermented fish paste. Mm. We don't know what the recipe was, but the closest thing that we have to it in the, in the modern era is preserved, preserved anchovy. We have to remember that the dough is alive. So everything you do to it, the dough remembers. And I wouldn't hit my dough with a rolling pin any more than I'd hit a child with a rolling pin. Okay? Because I want it to, be, to grow up to be gentle. Okay? And when we stretch a dough, we're moving carbon dioxide around. We're taking it, we don't want to degas the dough. So what we're going to do with this, because we're replicating the ancient form, we're going to handle it minimally. So I'm going to be doing that with this. And much like my southern Italian ancestors, <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to score it. And it, it's a, if, you, if you go on, uh, if you do a Google image search, Pompeii bread, you're gonna see something that looks remarkably like this. So it just goes in like that, nothing on top? Nope. And the oven is cranked up pretty high, probably, what, about 700 degrees or so? About 700 degrees in a wood fire. If you're doing this in a home oven, you know, with the baking stone in the oven, make your oven as hot as you can get it, because the hotter the better in the, for this kind of thing. And, and the dough is very simple. It, it's just the what we call the Napolitana dough. It's flour, water, salt, and yeast. Every pizza maker has their own version of this. The flour we're using today comes from central milling in Petaluma, California. The double zero means that it's been sifted Probably to the finest dough. level of what we call the endosperm, the pure white part of the flour. It's the softest, purest, finest part of the flour. And so double zero means it's very low in minerals, fiber, it's, uh, it's soft. The Italian version of that is very extensible. It's a softer flour. It spreads very easily. It doesn't hold much water. It, it won't last very long in the refrigerator. It needs to be used in a relatively short amount of time. That was a fast bake. So we got pesto, is that what that is? Or what is it? It's a light pesto. This is a, a sauce made from... Now, we wouldn't make, use pesto because basil didn't get to Italy until much later. So this is not basil? No. It's parsley, oregano, Calabrian oregano, um, garlic, anchovy, olive oil, and a little bit of sea salt. So should we tear off a piece? That's what we're here All for. All right, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tear off one wedge. I'll do my, my John Travolta thing. 
Okay, I've got my piece. We're gonna let it cool for just a second so I don't burn my mouth, but we're talking about simplicity, right? So it's just dough with something on it. And the dough is very simple. And the reason the dough is so good is because it's very simple. It was, it, this was a long fermentation dough made yesterday. It had a, a little bit of time today to warm up before it went into the pizza. And so what we're looking for in the flavor is we don't want it to be over fermented. We don't want to taste yeast. We want to taste complexity. The, the, the baker's mission is to evoke the full potential of flavor trapped in the flour. The pizza maker's mission is to evoke the full potential of flavor trapped in all of the ingredients, including the crust. But it starts with the crust. So, mm, it's really good. It's, it's herby, it's garlic, it's oily, you know, it's, it's bread. It's just the essence of bread garnished with some great toppings. So uh, I want to thank John Arena for showing us the Pompeii pizza. We, we, he's connected us to at least 3,000 years, pre-volcano era pizza. And, uh, and thank you, and I will see you throughout the expo. Thank you.